Welcome back. Well, the good news is the heat has come and gone, and the better news is we are in store for a fantastic weekend across the area. Here's what it looks like outside right now from Gustavus Adolphus College in St. Peter. We are starting off kind of on the quiet side. It depends on where you are. Some areas have some light showers, a couple thunderstorms. That's really along the border of Minnesota and Iowa down into northern Iowa. Now we did have a few light sprinkles here in Mankato overnight, but not enough to amount to any accumulation. That accumulation will be seen though, again, in those areas that have those heavier showers along the border of Minnesota and Iowa. Now because of that light rain this morning, we are seeing a little bit of reduced visibility. Again, could be worse out there. We've definitely dealt with worse. Just something to keep your mind on as you go forward. Some of this is due to that rain. Some of this is due to a little bit of fog forming because those dew points are still a little bit on the muggy side this morning. We're at four miles of visibility in Albert Lee and St. James with five in Algona, six in Esterville, as well as in Marshall, seven in Forest City. So. Yes, could be a lot worse out there. Just something to keep your mind on. Here's a look at those dew points. A lot better than what we have been seeing. We still have some areas in those 70s, but compared to the last few days, we've been in the mid to upper 70s at this point in time in the morning. This morning, big difference out there is we are in the mid to upper 60s, low 70s, which is why we have a little bit of that fog out there because temperatures are right around those upper 60s and low 70s. Now, like I said, it's starting off a little muggy out there right now, but as the day goes on, those temperatures in general are going to rise. Dew points are going to kind of stay where they're at and drop a little bit going into the afternoon hours, which means the muggy start we have now is actually going to decrease and become more comfortable by this afternoon. Here's a look at your current temperatures. Like I said, upper 60s, low 70s. The warmest we have in the area is 75 degrees in Blue Earth, and that kind of beats the, uh, we haven't really been that cool if you want to even classify that going through the last few days. We're down to 68 degrees in Jackson with 69 in Slayton and Esterville, 72 here in Mankato, St. Peter, Albert Lee, Forest City, Redwood Falls, and Olivia. Winds are kind of coming from all over the area right now out of the southwest, out of the southeast, anywhere from calm conditions up to 10 miles an hour, a little bit more elevated down by Spencer at 12 miles an hour. Now, as we take a look at the future cast, do not panic. This does look like a lot of rain, but this is more like sprinkles out there. And as those two points drop through the rest of the day, most of this rain will likely evaporate before reaching us here at the surface. However, a couple isolated chances remain in the forecast, not only this morning, but through the mid to late afternoon hours. Most of that will be west and south of Mankato, and we will be mostly sunny. Those isolated chances will slowly fizzle out through this evening into tonight, leaving behind clear and quiet conditions overnight. Tomorrow we'll see a mix of sunshine and cloud coverage, a chance for some showers in northwestern Iowa, but overall in general, majority of the area will stay clear and quiet. Look at this, 85 for the high today. We are done with those 90s. We are done with those upper 80s. It feels going to feel fantastic out there. Mix of sunshine, clear and quiet, comfortable tonight. 59 for the low. It feels um, kind of rewarding to put that in there in the forecast, being that we have not dropped below those 70s for the last several nights. Here's a look at your extended forecast this weekend, dropping into the mid 70s tomorrow, upper 70s on Sunday, little to no humidity. It's going to feel fantastic even with that sunshine. Going into next week, we're going to see those 70s stick around with those low 80s. It's going to be a great week ahead to end August and start September. Lisa Jackson.